Okay, hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a video that, much to my surprise, made me, well, not much to my surprise, it made me happy, but, um, yeah, to my surprise, someone got back to me so fast, and, uh, was the problem with the Blender 2.56 and Make Human 5.1 that, uh, well, the armatures didn't work. They were pieces of crap, and, uh, yeah, they just did not work. But, um, I posted up a... Uh, thread on blenderartist.org if you haven't signed up you should and if you do add me as a friend but um yeah so uh here's my request for for uh, help uh you can read that if you want I'll put the link in the description and then this this awesome uh bloke called Robzy he replied I don't know how fast he replied me, doesn't matter how fast he replied, the point is, he replied, and, um, what he, ha what he had to say was 100% correct, and, uh, then someone down here elaborated on, uh, his second mesh, his center, second underlaying mesh was, but, um, none of that matters at the moment, um, the main point is that Robzy, uh, he's got, he, had, he wrote a fairly detailed explanation of what's going on and how to achieve a good working armature because I actually made a video on how to make an armature with the uh, make human from 5.1 but it failed miserably so um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get around that but um, I highly suggest you go check out this thread and um, yeah I'll post a link and uh, yeah well first off you need to go to the make human website Go main, and then what you want to do is download a nightly build. And what the nightly build is is a build they update nightly, so um, it's the most up-to-date build they have. Unfortunately, there's only Windows 32. I run a 64, but the Windows 32 does not matter at all. Now there's a few different Linux, few different Linux, what four? Five Linux, one OS X, and then there's the 32-bit down the bottom. So you just click on that. Then you can go open or save. I'm going to go open. Let me close the windows there. But I'm um, already downloaded. it. All you do is let it download. Then um, once you have it downloaded and it's in uh, your downloads, or you saved it, or it opens up. But this this comes out as a uh, zip file, so WinRAR is advisable. But um, what you do is extract it to somewhere. Extract to. I'm gonna go desktop. Go click OK. I've already extracted it to my desktop, so um, I'll go yeah, no, I'll go cancel. But once you extract it to somewhere. See, I've got a lot of crap open at the moment. Sorry about this. Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Once you have you, once you have extracted it somewhere, it doesn't matter where, it should have this file called Make Human. Now you're going to click on that. And before running the uh, application, you need to go down and run the app update. It's a Windows batch file. Just double click on it. And, uh, a screen should pop up here, like it did, and I'll just take a few seconds to run it through, and then uh, the Make Human file will change, and then it's all good to go. Just double click on it, and it should go in. And then, it, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly like the old, well, not the old one, but the, the stable version that's been released. And that's because it's the exact same thing, but they've changed some things. Now what you do is export .mhx, name it as I don't know Blender Tut. Just click save, same as the other one. Runs through various things, and yeah, there we go. It's finished. So uh, we can just close out of that. Go on to Blender. 
Uh, should have should have left Blender open. Yeah. File, import, make human dot mhx. Do you don't know how to do that? Check out my other video. Then go into the make human folder, exports, and this is called Blender Tut. Uh, hyphen 25. Click import. Now this takes a little while longer, and uh, some stuff will come up in here. As always, I don't understand that. If uh, yeah, if you understand it, good. If you don't, it doesn't matter that much. And as you see, we have uh, this blender person now. That is almost fully functional. Well, they actually are fully functional, but there's a lot of um, stuff here that we don't want. Now, uh, I'll be doing a video on uh, how to use the armature straight after this, well, straight after, probably about 20 minutes, but, um, okay, there's, as you see, they're split among our layers, as you see, there's the clothes, by the way, these are the default clothes, these come in with it, uh, might leave, I'll leave them there, ah, didn't mean to right click, now there's this, Forsaken Mesh, now, the person who went, who, uh, commented under this says the second mesh is a proxy low poly mesh that you can use if needed which means it doesn't have as much detail that's generally all it means so um I don't want that so I just delete it and there's nothing wrong with deleting it the second layer is the armature again I'll go over all this because there's going to be a learning curve for me as well because honestly I don't I didn't get all this whole face thing but uh Sorry about that. But yeah, there's our mesh. Just shift select uh, select uh, two of my layers. I mean shift left click. Now I didn't mean to do that. Let's go into pose mode quickly and I'll just show you that the new one works. I know it looks a little confusing at first, but um I'll teach you guys it. Now uh see actually looks like he's flexing doesn't it it's quite cool so um, the new one works and so far I have not seen anything and you can move the cheek but um, I I'm gonna be going through uh, probably a good deal of videos showing you um, various things uh, so if if you still guys need help with that, well, I know I'm gonna need help, but I'll, I'll figure that out the most bit, and then um, yeah, you guys can help me if I need any more help. But you see how now this uh, armature is probably the most advanced armature I've seen like ever. So uh, I don't know this will take a quite a fair few videos, but um, I'll just show you what it t looks like when it's rendered out. We should have actually scaled this in, but oh well. Um, get that good object mode. I'm just gonna go first layer. R Z. Oh, one sec. Yeah, that's right. You go there. Sorry if I'm um, just talking to myself. I do I do that a lot. R Z. Uh, let me get this guy looking at the camera. Render image. Now, if my light setup didn't suck so much, it would look a lot better. But knowing me, I'm lazy as all hell. So, uh, yeah, let me just put that in front of him. So, yeah, I've been holding you guys up for so long. I do that a lot. Now, look at that. That is by far the best model I have ever seen come out of Make Human. Well, I've seen other people do it, but anyway, never mind. I'm just talking crap. But, um, yeah. So, uh, the few things you need to remember about this video check out this uh, post. I'll give you the link. Check out, well, make sure you download the nightly build. I don't know if that will change from time to time, and uh, it might have a few days where it's not working. But, um, if you download it today, tomorrow, or the day after, 
and that's the uh, what second, third, fourth, fifth, then it should be all fine. It should be on the same kind of version I am. So uh, yeah, I'll be bringing you a lot of videos about this uh, mesh and build. But um, thanks for watching, and uh, tell me your thoughts. So uh, thanks. Bye.